Today we're going to look at API versioning in Postman using Bitbucket integration. To get started, you'll need a Postman account and a Bitbucket account. There are a few ways to get started. If your company is taking an API-first approach, you'll start by creating a new API within Postman and adding your Bitbucket repository. If your team already has a repository where some work has been done, you can still synchronize your repository and pull changes into Postman. Let's take a look at how this is done. In Postman, I'm going to start by creating a new API, and I'm just going to call this Ice Cream Shop. We can see in the interface that we can immediately connect a repository. We're going to go ahead and click on Bitbucket. And this is going to ask for some authentication. So I'm going to grant it access, close this, and return to Postman. And now I want to select my workspace. Now my API is going to be under my personal workspace, so I'm going to choose that. And then I can choose my repository, and I'm going to choose my Ice Cream Shop repository. From here, I'm going to choose my branch. In this case, I have a main branch. You may have a development branch already in place. And now it's asking for an API schema directory. Very similar to other integration videos that we've made, you'll see that there's a path that will be created into the repository where the API will be synchronized. You can choose to customize this if you like. Otherwise, it'll go ahead and create this path called Postman Schemas and Postman Collections, and it'll go ahead and create those folders inside your repository for you. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to connect that repository. All right, so I'm on my active branch. If I come back over to my repository and I refresh over here, we see that nothing has changed yet. So we're going to come back over here and we're going to go ahead and create our definition. Now, in this case, uh, we already have a definition. It's actually part of our repository. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to import that. So I'm going to pull this in from a code repository. Again, I'm going to come from Bitbucket. We've already authenticated. I'm going to choose my workspace again, choose my repository, look for my branch. Now the import that's going to happen here is going to happen from one of two places. It's going to start by looking at the root folder of your repository. And if it doesn't find an open API specification file there, it'll try to look inside that Postman schemas path um, that we created earlier. In this case, it found our open API specification that was in the root folder of our repository. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to import that. At this point, everything is synchronized between Postman and Bitbucket. If I make a change here, um, I'll be able to push that change to Bitbucket. Likewise, if I'm on Bitbucket and my team were making changes inside of Bitbucket, I would be able to pull those changes down into Postman as well. So let's take a quick look at that. Let's say I want to change something about my schema definition here. Um, in the store, I'm just going to change the definition a little bit here, and I'm going to click on Save. And from here, I want to make a pull request to my repository. So I'm going to click on source control. I can add a commit message and I can say updated definition description for getting the menu. I'm going to go ahead and commit and push that. Now this is going to make a push back to Bitbucket. That change got pushed. I can come over to Bitbucket and I can reload over here. Now we can see that we uh, Postman has actually created that path for us. So it's not going to alter the OpenAPI YAML file that's in the root folder. Instead, what we're going to see is it's created that schemas path. And inside of here, we have the updated copy of our Postman definition. And here's the change that we made. Likewise, if I come in here and I want to make a change, I can make a change right in Bitbucket. And let's change this description here. Use to place an order in the online store. I'm going to go ahead and commit this change. Now, your practices for making commits uh, may be different within your company, and that's okay. Just showing a very brief example here. So we've made this change inside of Bitbucket. And if we come back over to Postman now,
we actually see within the source control that uh, we've got a change. So we can, we can see a notification inside the Postman interface that a change has been made and we can go ahead and synchronize this down. So we can just click on this button with the down arrow that says pull changes. And we should see the updated definition here. So this pulled in okay. And we see that it placed an order in the online store. So that was the change that we made on Bitfinder.